Amen. Today's admonition is found in Psalm 150. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise God in the heavens of his power. Praise God for his mighty acts. Praise God according to the abundance of his greatness. Praise God with a trumpet sound. Praise God with a lute and harp. Praise God with a tambourine and dancing. Praise God with stringed and wind instruments. Praise God with the resounding cymbals. Praise God with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen.
Kale Bala Joa Mudimu Maria Jesu Atsululing at the cross of Calvary. Today we stand like this. We even know how to pray because of the blood of Jesus. We assemble together like this, not because we are perfect, but because of the blood of Jesus. That was shed many years ago, but even today, the same blood has never ever lost its power. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over every soul that is under the authority of my voice this morning. Let the blood of Jesus, my Father, cover us, hide us from the eyes of the enemy. Let the blood of Jesus be a shield of protection over each and every one of us. Those that are watching online, there's no distance in the spirit. The same blood of Jesus is able to cover you, protect you from any weapons of the devil that are formed against you. Father, I condemn every tongue that rises up against us right now. The voice of the devil the voice of the demons the voice of any agent from the pit of hell we silence them this morning by the authority and the power of the name of Jesus I decree and declare that no evil shall fall on us no calamity no disaster no premature death no sickness no theft shall ever come near our household because your angels my father they function under your instruction they are watching over us 24 7. they cover us they accompany us they carry us when we are about to fall they are here right now we might not see them with our naked eyes but the angels of the living god you are here now in this place the spirit of the living god you are here now in this house i pray that you open up the eyes of our understanding I pray that you take us by our hand and lead us through the path of righteousness for the sake of the name of Jesus. Give us revelation in the knowledge of God. Give us the ear to hear your word and act on what we believe. Anoint my lips, Lord, to speak to somebody that you have designated to be at this place at this very moment more of you and less of us let your weight father be acceptable let your weight be receivable let your weight make a way in somebody's life where nobody else can make a way let your way to bring revelation knowledge bring an answer to somebody's petition we thank you lord that you woke us up this morning not to fill up the number of the population but to make an impact in this earth at this very moment holy spirit speak to us now we are listening in the only name that makes sense the name of jesus there is none like you lord we lay down our crowns before your throne we say abba father abba father to the one who sits on the throne there is none like you lord we bless you now Thank you, Holy Spirit. Speak to us now, we are listening. In the only name that makes sense. The name of Jesus. If you've got your Bibles, can you just hold them in your hands? Let's make this confession before we get into the Word of God. Even while you are still standing on your feet, don't worry, it won't take long. Uh, then we'll allow you to sit down right now. Uh, we're going to make a confession. This is not just to do it before I preach, but it's to activate the very same spirit who wrote the word to be the interpreter of the word. With boldness, just say, this Bible is God speaking to me. I believe. I receive the word of God as the truth. Nothing but the truth for my life right now in Jesus' name. Amen. First Samuel chapter 30, while we are still standing, first Samuel chapter number 30, we are reading from verse number one. First Samuel chapter number 30, we are reading from verse number one in Jesus' name. I won't take long, don't worry. First Samuel chapter number 30, we are reading from verse number one. 
first Samuel chapter number 30 verse number 1. Uh, for for those uh, who don't have the Bibles, we are busy organizing. And then for those who don't know the hymns that we sing in church, uh, we are also organizing to get a hymn book, yeah, RBC. And then everybody can come purchase or gift, whatever it means you can get it to get it. And then we are planning to put a screen. It will be coming very soon. Uh, put it there so that everything can be accessible to you. And Tot ebeket sa mayon sa kubo lalafrikan sa kagugan next mara amen yon ngi birite kare nagele mo arama kwa yano motomon si nagwong gudum yala fela lalo mo arama kwa so but we don't want you to be like that I want you guys to partake in whatever we 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 do in Jesus name First Samuel chapter thirty verse number one hari krila rin amen verse number one it says now when David and his men came home to Ziklag on the third day they found that the Amalekites had made a raid on the south and on Ziklag and had struck Ziklag and burned it with fire and had taken the women and all who were there both great and small captive they killed no one but carried them off and went on their way so David and his men came to the town and behold it was burned and their wives and sons and daughters were taken captive then David and the men with him lifted up their voices and wept until they had no more strength to weep. David's two wives also had been taken captive. Ahinoam, the Jerzelite, and Abigail, the widow of Nabal, the Camelite. David was greatly distressed, for the men spoke of stoning him, because the souls of them were all bitterly grieved, each man for his sons and daughters. But David encouraged and strengthened himself in the Lord his God. David said to Abiathar the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray you, bring me the effort. And Abiath brought him the effort. Verse 8, and David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this truth? Shall I overtake them? Then the Lord answered him, Yes, pursue them, for you shall surely overtake them, and without fail you will recover all. Verse number 9, So David went, he and the 600 men with him, and came to the brook Besor. There those remained who were left behind. But David pursued he and the 400 men, for 200 stayed behind who were too exhausted and faint to cross the brook Bissau. They found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David and gave him bread and he ate and water to drink and a piece of cake of figs and two clusters of raisins and when he had eaten his spirit returned to him for he had eaten no food or drank any water for three days and three nights and David said to him to whom do you belong and from where have you come he said i'm a young man of egypt the servants to an amalekite and my master left me because three days ago i fell sick we had made a raid on the south of the cherethites and upon that which belongs to judah and upon the south of caleb and we bend ziklek with fire and david said to him can you take me down to this bend and he said swear to me by god that you will neither kill me nor deliver me into the hands of of my master and I will bring you down to this Ben and when he had brought David down behold the raiders were spread abroad all over the land eating and drinking and dancing because of all the great spoil they had taken from the land of the Philistine and from the land of Judah and David smote them from twilight even to the evening of the next day not even one man escaped except 400 youth who rode camels and fled David recovered all that Amalekites had taken and and rescued his two wives nothing was missing small or great sons and daughters spoil or anything that has been taken david recovered them all in jesus name we thank god for the reading of his word you may be seated in the presence of the lord the bible says the grass one day will wither and the flowers will fade away but the word of our god shall stand for ever before it's an amol in sulamudimu celebrated the birthday martin mohotani let me pray for you father i pray for that he's coming in he's going out 
It's a new season of laughter, a new season of joy, a new season of peace. I pray that you increase the base of his living on earth, my Father. I pray that you allow him to grow in wisdom, in stature, and in the wisdom of God, and in the favor of God and men. Zakhale tiri mutu stembo choko kia itwa la chapter ela kigula empia mo pilomba hai ena len gladness and joy and peace and laughter in everything that his servant finds to do in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy birthday, man of God, and may God bless you in Jesus' name. Allow me this morning to speak to you on the subject title: When all human reasoning for hope is gone when all human reasoning for hope is gone because ona le na ko e leng hore o tlo lose hope ente ngwe be ile mo modimo notre modimo ha tshepahale because it took too long so you will face those moments mo e leng hore eh ha re lebella di fact tsa bophelo there's nothing e bontsha mo re ntho idumelang e tlo irahala mo bophelong ba hao as christians we all go through the season e leng hore hope ya rona ona le mo ifela mo teng and ha ya mo tlo ifela ke mo ya modimo e statang e take over many years ago i was watching this interview, I don't remember if it was Oprah or Dr. Phil, they were interviewing this American soldier who survived a helicopter crash by doing yeah, the Middle East. If you remember, Kanagoya, George W. Bush, USA, they launched the war against the, the area, about the Arabs nation, Babatana, the weapons of mass destruction. But Lega Jogwarosoboni, even one weapon of mass destruction, a bank discovered them from there. Bo Saddam Hussein, Bo Parke Mangula and Bamo Accusor, Bin Laden and the rest, Kimo Babla Mote. Now this helicopter Yamasola USA by Betileka Bomo and then Asia. Mara there was only one person who survived. All uh, the passengers in that plane they they died. So this man uh, never made the motive by my interviewer about his survival. So his whole body was bent by by the fire, but he survived. He didn't die. But his face ne ne melti le kamkunafia you don't even recognize him but in the picture high somewhere there you can't even compare with the same person and interviewer now the wife narrates the story as it happened or a more the interviewer Omarare, uh, there was I received a call after my my husband asked I share in the chopper then by my transport I will go USA but Mr. to a military hospital to go and attend to him he's the only survivor of that chopper now the doctors Babita Mosadi at a hospital, but from Molella Bamasalus to Rumana, how really accident they go going to him, and then a plane in Valemoyone is a layer crash, a bomb. If he is the only survivor, we don't know even how he survived that that fire, but this man survived. So when he she she arrived at the hospital, a grow a hospital about Vita Honala Malaitos and Monati, you can see the faces tabon out on through the aisle, or something is not right, something is wrong. So half it, the doctors told this wife but mozaro your man has been badly bent that they had to keep him on life support the lungs are high the affected so he, he can't breathe on his own but mainly of in in life support now mozaro what are the chances of his survival the doctor i want to tell you the truth we have never attended to this before but i will tell you anything between one percent and five percent chance of survival in fact if I'm, I'm i'm honest with you he might not make it through the night that's why we called you so that you can give us the final say yeah we must switch off the the life support machine or we're well, not aware of directive we can't do these things until you give us the directive so mosadi yola ba misa mo lefestere la icu o bona monna ha ya robetse on that bed she can't even recognize that man because of she le na matse di tsebeng go di it's like wax yeah ya kere se ka mkwa meltileng ka temo sfatlong you could even recognize him then the woman over that the doctor let me think about it. Then she went to a chapel. A chapel keep like most hospitals, general chapels. In South Africa, I've never seen most it's like so like jubilee jubilee by the way echo hamas karela is it was a missionary uh work yeah baptist is petele selasa he was a missionary the baptist in the 70s 71 74 somewhere around there they bought the camp yalifika it's one thing so that's why by hile in all special assessment and chapel so i don't remember so now chapel kamahara but most of the american hospitals didn't let chapel kamahara so this wife went to the chapel and she went in there and she sat down digesting everything to the doctor 
Zen zone. She sat there quietly for about 30 minutes, as I will say, hoping to hear something from God. Because if you are a faith person, on Alenako, you feel like you have a voice here. Yeah, yes, Bible arrived. God said, Mara, I need an audible voice of God to speak to me. There are those moments, I want to hear your voice. I want to know for sure. This time, I want to hear your voice. She stood there for 30 minutes. Nothing happened. Then after about 45 minutes, I did meet quietly inside that chapel. one. Literally a voice whispering to her, forget about the 95%. Focus on the 5%. Then we will not have a How no more inside the chapel where Malo wine. All right, watch your lona stele. How will it sell after about ten minutes again? The voice is a whispering into into her ears. Forget about the ninety five percent. Focus on the five percent. Now she's she's puzzled. Rumara, how are you looking at ninety five to focus on the five? What what is he talking about? Did Paloza di Valente King? Why are we like this? Then she remembered. Or the doctor, how do you say the doctor, the chance of survival of the husband? But deliver anything between one person and five percent. Then he might not make it throughout the night. Then immediately she stood up out of the chapel. Then at an amolo wa the doctor, the doctor the over By the way, doctors, you, you said how much chance does my husband have to survive? Then the doctor will be the social worker at the Melagarwa Umra are no, I told you anything between one percent and five percent. In fact, he might not make it through this night. I'm trying to be honest with you so that we can prepare you. Then she said something out of nowhere. She says as long as there is five percent chance of survival for my husband do not switch off that life support machine ma'am we, we we are saving money for your carry because you told me there is a minimum of between one percent and five percent as long as locally 0.1 percent chance of survival do not switch off that machine Guess what? The husband made it through the night. The husband made it through the following day. The husband made it through the following week. The husband made it through the following months. The husband made it through the following years. That's why I'm interviewing on TV. Oh, Peter, because the woman got the conviction in her heart. For now, only zero percent they are gonna survive. Don't switch off the light support machine. That's why Paul, I want to the church in Ephesians, or more on or God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think how does he do it he do it according to the power that is at work within you that power kibita five percent all that god requires five percent forget about the 95 percent of what would say in your name when i focus on the five percent in fact remember that day when you went through a car accident the devil made one mistake during that time he didn't kill you when he had the chance to kill you remember when how hana feila was going subject or module we feel i'm going go tertiary the devil made one mistake he didn't discourage you to quit or well or studies are happy luna balling it's in today remember your marriage might be as good as dead as i speak right now but the devil makes one mistake he didn't push you enough to go or sign that divorce decree remember that day hanol walolo go special only pregnant then the doctor came and told you or man hey when i love that man it's either your baby won't survive or if your baby survives then when you won't survive so when you make a decision or you abort the baby so that you can live let the baby die the devil made a mistake or i put that pressure more when enough so that you can make a decision to abort that baby all that god needs in your life is only five percent of hope in order to turn around the 95 percent of misery and we face the mobile pillow so he made a mistake that he never killed you not realizing or oh she the five percent hope on the inside of you coming back to the text everybody 
more first Samuel chapter 30. Let me take you back to the time when David Afrika to the battlefield. By Lolo and Aleba Felicita, Papa Haya Murumi, Lora Ayo, check how the battle is going. I check the brothers about the provision and come back and give him the report or how does the battle go. And you know the, the story. When David arrived in the battlefield, it's when Goliath was coming to kiss the Israelites, Kabadimu Bahai, Abarohake, for 40 days. And Halibella, the scenario in the camp of the Israel, Hunali, fear and fright, in the camp of the Philistine on a little bit and confidence. Then he was worried. Or Maramasola Israel, Balebe, Rumudim Wabone, Wapila man. Then Rasu Lumaraman, give me a chance. Let me fight with this giant go on to Rirangabato, Baba So now. So Rulogomo discourage as the king of Israel. Or Naaman, Goliath has been trained from youth for such a time as this. When I was just a young boy, you can't destroy this giant. All of our no man, I've got a testimony. You might not have been there when these things happen in my life. In fact, when you look at me, I'm a shepherd. I'm taking care of my father's flock. One day, a lion came and took one of the lambs out of the flock. Another day, a bear. Yeah, take the flock of my father. I went and killed the lion and the bear with my own hands. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine before the Lord who made me to kill the lion and the bear? That's why I never debate with a testimony. You are not there when these things happen. When I just believe that to cut the long story short, David killed Goliath. As Nabalaya Goliath, Babuela Jerusalem, Habatsena, Gari Gate is a Jerusalem, Basari Bamut says about Rile, or the Israelites have won the battle against the Philistine. But composite a pina because how tabil it's easy to compose songs. They compose a song, the lyrics to pina tendire Saulo waro nawe lungosi ya Israel ovla ilo only thousand Philistines soldiers. Dafi toro sa meeting as na thaile le ovla ilo ten thousand Philistine soldiers. This boy is not even a soldier. He just came to bring provision for his brothers. Maraya non se zakrile status overnight. And then solo how kula the lyrics of that song moya wahai waba disturbed. From that day he wanted to kill David. Not because David did something wrong, but because of jealousy. How can one ban Nabal one and two a fili? We do Roman was keto te marabon. Mara was kete na hana poso. Rona ban na real or drive you agiri skete. Moi long how can one ban Nabal one and two a long ra ina reconciliation. We do somebody wa parents kete. O te mo mo sadu te ngana le ban Nabal kono paradis kete matazia. Skega eka eka si njaga ina meza thava. So be anu how we do Roman o te mo hare. Habona, bukwa di stegeng, akwa di zake David, bukwa di stegi pina, e yutuleng ba prisa this young man. That's why today I'm not a politician. It was unnecessary for EFF to be where it is today. If somebody never had a jealousy, I remember there was a moment morning Julius Malema early the ANC Youth League, but he go Super Stadium before I visit. Can I forget again? I forgot the the new name. Until you go Super Stadium, he youth rally ya ANC. Traffic in started from go to Bumuchet Street. It was highly packed. A month later, President Zuma Lilelen as the president of the country, president of the ANC, also addressed that the stadium was half full. But when this youth boy at the Utlarije Stadium. Somebody said growth, it is a separation. How to make it overnight? It is a separation between the two of you. So that's why today we've got EFF. It's because of what somebody had a jealousy. Or this boy will take over the country, but now I'm the president. That's why it's so he had to chase David away and go Molaya. There's nothing wrong that David did. But to give one of our feeling fame, but out of jealousy, then this man, Saul, who's the king, he wanted to kill David. Then later on, David decided the best way to escape from Saul, Kehotzhaba from Kohai to Jerusalem, then Araya to the territory of the Philistine, who created residence, Kote, meaning nearly a refugee, had to the Philistines. Kalebala, Kenafetan, who will I had the Philistine. 
to the same house of the enemy their leader then hatena go temba mo a city called the geth under king akish badula mola o mofa black ya hai ebe ara david amarakar david ya otsa mole wane ona le 600 men ba ba tsama ya lo wena i'm going to give you the small town by bitsa ziklek so ke mo david na le base mo ten ziklek it's a small town under the big city called the geth under king akish then David stayed there. Fast forward to chapter 29 of 1 Samuel. Under Israel, Saul the king is launching a warfare against the Philistine again by Luluana, Chantibuluana in another field. Now, how are you doing? But Philistia, what they do, never in a region, a divided in Kadi city, like for example, South Africa, it's a country, then Limpopo, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a city, and Bumalang, it's a city, and then every city, I a premier, in Ali, its own king. Then the king, stay how you are doing. Every City it like a sole bako pancha then bayan doing kayon skalavala akish is the king of this town city a bizang geth mara inside geth on a small town called ziklek kemo afilen david residential place as a refugee to stand there now masol all that one from the territory ah but felicita i am doing bolwana so every king must bring the strong men bobo shabata now kish akish will invite uh, david the israelites at the joina masole a geth ba ba iloko pana le masola manga ba felicita bolwana khatlano le israel eling under the leadership of saul at that time skalebala had the fita aba joina that means he's going to fight against himself he might have a problem with king saul but he doesn't have a problem libuye and oriana is an israel like the nakin nita kish utale david le masola hai by a contain by joina masola geth but joina other soldiers by and to embolwan against the israelites now how about the the princess star but felicita but about to examine all the 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 canal of it and go cast one cast one of it a more part of a legion and by and doing in the olden days the transfer from a hair a legion yeah about to buy no hurry legion it's a group of about three thousand to six thousand soldiers you remember that man owning anna lily little little money every just what i'm going to i'm not sure when i'm on ever more no haggy one rabbi we are a legion Pato, Regamo Hare, Hamoto, or Pradukulu Vetilla, and Matimona Chilling Atena, Muriculu Vendia Tena Mometing, that's all as a Jugulu very little to say, Kuruvesela di Shuile Mometing, so Terdijan, second generation, and Piasela Kala Matimon. So some man legend Marskala is every day, and it's not healthy for you, Marlan Salo Hanyaske. Now, how about about to examine a Masolaba Felicita, the princess? But realize or Mara, this man is David. Balata Akish. Akish, how can you bring? This Israelites are to join a mountain. What guarantee do you have? Or are they not going to know to play a role? Na at the Lord na mountain. Then they told him it's either you take this guy off the field or no, and I will remove you. Then I kish a balata David and mother David mona ba felicita ba about happy. Now I trust you. Keep his alone for some time, but they don't trust you. So please, uh, you can't go with us to the battle. And David le ba na ba hai ba ba six hundred ba wella to their town of Ziklek. It was a trip about three days from Mobile Motemba Wellahai. Mochapta Timor Badile Moteng, David Haba Fisa go Ziklek after three days. Bagrele, the city ele ransacked. Everything has been burned. The animals have been taken. The children has been taken alive. Their wives has been taken alive. And a baby little muscle, Allah, Allah, Silo, Goga Munalla, Allah, Allah, Silo, and a good way back, Cody Lore, Levasari, Wabi, David, Babatiri. I don't know why by by Sukunidite in that chapter, Erole, or Basadi Levana, Baba Tupileva Pila, Mara, the right of the book, I Sukunid, or Levasari, Wabi, Batafita, Baba Ujite, Santalon, and Talon, and Awo, Etama. So again, those six hundred men, they were grieved. And then Bastadona against David. But blame David for the grief. They are not sure. So they wanted to kill David because they were angry. I want you to look at the response. Yeah, David, stay with me. I'm going somewhere. Verse number six. More first Samuel chapter 30. Verse number six. David was greatly distressed. 
for the men, the 600 men spoke of stoning him because the souls of them all, they were all bitterly grieved. Each man for his sons and daughters. Maralevela the response here, David Ale under attack. The Bible says David encouraged and strengthened himself in the Lord his God. There are moments, Mubu Pilombarona, where but tipiling, baoba trustang, they will turn against you for no apparent reason. That's why Batswana Lerba to give on kate ketaname. They love you the next minute that they turn against you. You were there for them when they needed you the most. But right now, when over talker, they are nowhere to be found. That's why Mina Togora Lala Honna. Eh, Shwelani, iwe ile batum. Miriti ya usiugie na irifikete. Bani mbantu sa morena batza maile. Wena morena so lale honna. But instead of David retaliating against the 600 men, David turned to his God. And the Bible says, I took away the man. He encouraged himself. Why do you have to encourage yourself? Sometimes you need somebody to come and tell you something new into your life. But there are moments where you must encourage yourself in the Lord. I remember on Tuesday, was it Tuesday? No, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday. My spirit was a bit down. Because Satan and Ono, I can also say, Fella, or say, you know, you say, you know, 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 you so there are moments where you will feel down, where you feel like God can say something to you. Mar David knew. So he encouraged himself in the Lord. And the Bible says, half is to encourage himself in the Lord. He did something on verse number eight. You can look it into your Bible. I know I'm handsome, but I am a man. So Verse number eight says, and David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? Then the Lord answered him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them. Without fail, you will recover everything that they took. Are you are you aware, Hore, how emotional we tend to make permanent decisions? And I don't know why. Mm. Emotions. Okalaila, Mubazalam Sajor Aksaurat, Napila Bilagin, Nistemo, Keva, and Alice Chuson Gabriel and so on, Marabilaga. Emotions. Mona Gila Regisa, Bethright, the Ahai, Kashu. Emotions. Be careful when you are emotional. And watch this just because you are angry today is not a guarantee by the end of the year, Tabunzo Guadil. My good or art at Amaya. Give emotions at Nile Saruri. So be careful when you are emotional, you don't make a permanent decision. That's why Minatoko or Sapota Manzo de Fita, Ayetang Hamala Pina, Yalifele Mo, Motizamaya Moten, Hola Shehaba, Babanata, Marana Oteng Yansa, my son Zela man, Kijeso, Kenemun, Watzila. I don't know or by Lega by Sega Basadi Barona, Lidi Tutuzaro Namara, Jesu, Utlanza Maisa. That's why he inquired of the Lord. So instead of being emotional under attack, David inquired of the Lord about what he must do for the next step while they are emotional like this. And guess what? Once David inquired of the Lord, Murimu Murite, two things. He says to him, Go ahead, pursue them. Balatele. Number two, Omofa guarantee of the outcome. Or Toto Tizaba you are going to recover them. Marahao Balata, Kamai Kuto, a revenge. There's no guarantee you will There's no guarantee you will recover everything. So, inquire first of the Lord before you can go out. Then God will give you the direction. Now, to cut the long story short, David to Nalaban Nabahe Baba 600 on horses, Batamaya to rescue their wives and their children. Habale Motiling, they found this man is an Egyptian servant, Ali half dead. Apparently, after the Amalekites, 
They bend Ziklag, but Yaba Sadiliba and Abatama Kabone. This seventh, Walwala Motiling, Balimudi Chiruti. Now, Halwala, Habana Nako, Yorba Kaema, Bamwala, and Bam Monor Sentilena Feliliti. Ever by Misericardis of Bamu Lachalamut Desiding, Bamu Tuela, I expect our Utoshua in that sickness, Emu Chirim Basi Jurgin, Bamu Tuela. Then that man, he stood there for three days in the desert, Ale half day. The message there, Gore, the trash that you throw away today might be the very same thing that will bring you down tomorrow. That boy is a threat, is a trash while well, well, three days ago, not realizing in the future. So be careful of the persons or the things that you throw away today. It might be the very same thing that will bring you down tomorrow. What about? Because of the trash that we learn today might be the very same thing that will bring down tomorrow. Now, David Lebanabahai, they come across this man, they found him only half dead. And a baby lady, they gave him bread, Bamofa le Metsi, Bamofa le cake, he raisins. I get to go to one day and he can the raisins in the debate. I get like Kale, Lonara, you wait till the Sabuille, Kale, Keke, Alignano, and by Yaga the raisins. Ever by Jaka anniversary Alignano. I was not away. Couldn't get discovered about ten years ago. Or KK, Kelly reasons, I will. Can you visit next year by age? And I'm not young. Marabai by each other after one year. And Baba tell you before one year, I go to Hubert Guale, Katamari, all of the house, 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 the and here again, that means Nasule, Maranasa aswa. Lang lang talo hanya ne. He was a half dead pilapi. Or was a very for three days in the desert alo ala. Was na di jole meji. That one it's a mystery. Mara hava fita mo la ba mo fita fela ba fiti leva chang ba mo fadi jo ba mo fale meji ba mo fale keke damana aja atua. And remember, hane David a inquire ali modim. I'm not sorry. Shall I pursue them? Mudimu mu file go ahead ya ore you can go but what surprised me mudimu ha mu fa identity ya the enemy a physician sick leg ono mu tsafela no go pursue them sabo bedi ha mu fa le direction e ya ore ba ile go kai they never gave him the direction ono mu tsafela ore pursue sabo bedi ha mu fa the outcome or you are going to recover or mara ha mu le lor ke da amala kai who stole from you? And a banner in which region? Yeah, to that region. No, no, no. He just told him, yeah, and you shall recover everything. Save steering more. And I'm reminded of that time, Jesus. Mumak chapter four, Abba Ruta Bahayore. Arzene Moskeping. Let us cross over to the other side. Mara Jesus, while Saba was our Hunale storm between the departure and the arrival, he never told them about the storm. Let's cross over to the other. Not to the, that means look good. How would Dimo Aho be for a certain mission? How who fit the whole scope? On Nantala tell the puzzles along the way, then it start making sense. That's when I get a vote last girl ragger. Hang give everyone the outcome. Before Galwana Lemole money, and get a cassar react the way you get a money Galwana Lemole money if give a given the outcome of the battle. So Mudimo Har wants it or it's a major step. That's why after 15 years, how level Murao Marwa won or Mutola Hanan Kuba, it was good for me. Look where I am today. Hangas and damp and get the gills on a hit, hit you and a la. Marahon damping high inputs a mat. Oh, that's where I am 
to dance. So long when I so when I did relationship with the Motone, when I was about to regular Lobo, when I do what that and Harakawana Munate Baba Mara, it was necessary in order to help me to grow. Kereke has a honeymoon, Mohonna Munate, everything is a Maya well. The same people, especially Kereke, especially a Baptist, the same people Baba empower run. Kebane me nangi to holo mangu chori sa malaria kausan. And don't be discouraged. Omong hapo to ota mo empower. Kausani ha jodi mbaze ki mala mara mama kima ojigela. Uskanga mo empower to. That that's how things in the kingdom. Ah, uh, skawa bana bo bo ka isoba. Bala obedient eh na. Era berka ko maini yana ho le yana ya five thousand six thousand. Eh, kaba tomo Refidi le mo, we know these things. Mm, we know. Don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. That's what the ministry is all about. Mm. That's why Rabani Mbantu is available, guy. That's amazing. Yes, that's amazing. And all of the efforts we put in for them to be where they are, you deserve to talk. When I get to transfer university, she had a registration in short. When I get another one year, sir, you can't just let it be. Can I get a teacher to call? The same teacher to call, sir. When she came. And I got to go to work with a girl. Hey, go feel it on it. It's a male. It is gone. So Mudimu doesn't mention what's going to happen in between. Oh, well, la fella, the outcome of your destiny. When Mudimu Ahofa, the partner, oh, my thing, they didn't come up with a manual. Manual, what they were, scam on a list. So every morning, how to a umudi, ujile sur. We discover a set of to alien among beton. Or Baba Mudimo, our Lord Munao, Kimavo Mazongi. In Tongo, we can you eat. Corre, look who ran out one hand, Gilly, and a more secure Wadimela, Kay, Marhano Copanel and Hadal Manuel, or one summer game, Kimavo Mazongi. When God gave you that job, Cover and Cotting, that job I had a manual airing, Bosoya how how ratty. Or discover a set of Tewela, or Pila Pila Diman and Naham for Stane, Momeruko. So everything somebody more fans on it. I hope the manual I hate, Obele La Fela, the destiny. Love, Levali Kilamokere, Mudimo Ali leader. Over and Zigil, Kil interview, I do to give him a Bullock and Manwarin, Nabo Mudimo Mudara Zama and Zama, about the Banalim Piamostra de Mudia Mudivisa, Avagra Gate, who's about the Limpia Celebri Vella Maragona is on Rodos and Agar again. Quena Mapula Giza, but I believe that's a Magana Limpia Celebrity. Mudimu leader also to this church. Marahana leader to this church. However, Emmanuel, not everybody's friendly. Come again. It's kind of one or so. Bunu Yogamu. Bunya Timukamu. Bota Hokamu. Toha Wegamu. Marahano Jaina Gerege. Our grand Manuel. We're in Gerege. It's a friendly church. Baba is really busy. Le rappel la wana. Mudimu li file wana. Marwano hata ka Manuel. Wahore. Every morning got to. So I'm telling you, every morning, Marahana no more rappel la mudima no la ravile. Marahana taka manuale ya huruwa na wati na utola alilo. So what I'm trying to say, when God calls you, He doesn't give you the whole script, but you've got to trust Him every step of your way. How tamaya liye na. So even the mudimo didn't give David the identity of the enemy who runs Zikleg. I'm over happy with the direction. Yahore, Bakoka, and guess what? We really intentionally. Jesus, but I'm not going to skip in. Read to the as I was at the storm. We yet are intentional. Who to see that this morning? Who or discover something? But how would there be between you and the discovery? This is what's going to happen. We yet are intentionally. And guess what? Mudimu can now cross it in the enemy at the Amalekites. Balate. That young servant, Aluale, Bamulache, on the desert, thinking, Hore, it's a trash. They chased that boy away. And when David found this man on the street, the Bible says, Hamulevela, Umukriya Ale half dead. Marhaba Yamu in the pulse, there was a heartbeat. Meaning, 5% chance. Of survival. Remember that woman in the chapel. A voice told her, "Forget about the 95%. Focus on the 5% of survival." 
And guess what? David in another choice. Let me go to the link. Go to the link. I'll let message you. I never know. Little note email. David in another choice. Skala le bala. How can the right of the book? Why asuku nyeri te tava ya hore? Le basa di baba bili ba Davidi. Ba mo palo ya ba tere ina le ba aga. Ora ora taba sa di ba idiman. Actually, ora taba sa di rebi esendi. Ora taba sa di. Mutara tamba sa di. He had all the powers to overlook this young boy, one more Egyptian, I pass away, Basari Baha Elevana, Baba Terrain. And guess what? Now I'm going to create direction. Yeah, we do the enemy, Lekai, if he doesn't attend to this boy while with him. So that means the women and the children, they represent 95%. This seventh boy was Egyptian, he represents 5%. Mara, in order for you to discover where the 95% is, take care of the 5% that we create most strategy. You can imagine how many 5%, 30 jambila motileng. Ready to start the ninety-five percent. Mara the same five percent. John Erle ngas ne by Fadi Joe. Ebe mo lela David Durman na nagi idrugo mamba ba usinjedi tei. Mara imagine if you could have jumped this boy. Ashia na se idrugo ya kai. Momo di masa mo fan direction. He could have travelled the whole month. Ase idrugo ba ile kai. Mara he took care of the five percent. Enes muske julin sahai so that the five percent can expose him where the ninety-five percent is. I'm talking to you this morning. Your marriage Amen. might look dead according to your eyes. But I want you to remember as long as a divorce decree is not signed yet, there is still 5% chance of survival for your marriage. How do I do it, Muruti? The 5%. How do you say the 5%? You will recover the 95%. It's because you lost hope. You lost You lost hope and why you sign that divorce decree. Can you realize the same 5% decree on you is to the 95%? And some of you, the doctor might have told you how you are diagnosed with stage four cancer. You've got only three to four months uh, life span. And I don't mean to undermine your doctor. I respect them. They studied for seven years. But as long as Santana Piluaga Pompa Madi, that means I've got a five percent chance of uh, survival. When I just feed the five percent, once you feed the five percent, it will give you direction towards recovering the ninety-five percent in your life. That's why Mudimo Gemorapelang is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I can ever ask think or even dream according to the five percent of hope that remains in you I read the power that works in you get that five percent that still has a beating on the inside of you never give up on that five percent because before David became the king after Saul died Saul Nanalwana and Mr. Jonathan. Jonathan and almost the same age, le, David. So about one lady show me. Then they made a covenant because Jonathan Nala way or Papa Hai Sulunya Goblaya Dafita. So everywhere, more uh Sola Le Kan Watega, David, Jonathan Karnana in the chamber will go out. I will let David Oskaya Mola Bailu at this direction. Then Jonathan one day with a Dafit or David. You are my friend, ne? Mara Papa Hunya Gobula. I want us to make a covenant. I'm not sure who's gonna die first between me and you. Marawaka Shwampil Wasalan meaning if i die first and you leave make sure my family and everybody in my name is taken care of that covenant and by answer before david ever the king of he was already anointed the king but he could not take over the kingdom until king saul is dead but the same king saul over david during that time can along the path of time jonathan anna lewana bamita Mephiboseth. Mephiboseth, one day, Masola ilu kundui. Hababu wa kutapile a messenger. Atwere prompita ay later. And then prompita teng illa in different ways. Hamasola ay Israel ay winentua. Illa in a certain way. Hababu usentua etlisa anara message. Now, Mephiboseth ni sotane ilele seya anale neni wa hayone nga mkukile. Kachan katonka na mkukile ka mumrao. Now, hame ola au kwa mulaita. Asu uki sentor ba winentor ba iluzite. Ka fie. Eba ay mela taba kante. Ha bofa chale elapila. Ha mela taba. Wanola awa bita na mofa. 
fatsi a damage spinal cord sa hae from here ho fitla go tlase ngwana a ba damage ke ngwana wa mang Jonathan Jonathan the son of Saul the king of Israel this boy he grew up in a place called Lodeba Lodeba it means a place with no pasture pasture ke pulo so that land cannot produce anything that means it's a hopeless place to live in but he's a son in a rejected place then I made a covenant with my friend Jonathan, and look how the Lord has blessed me. Let me fulfill the part of that covenant so that I bless everybody. Skalebala, how bless I everybody? Leba na baso ulo chante aba bless. So ulo ona nyabo mola ya. So you must bless them. Then I want to say an advert. Yaur ana huna le anybody who relates to King Saul or Jonathan. Why should King Saul bless him? Mo fal lente kaita everything na. Now the messenger ota mo David. But mo turno there's one boy go Lord Eba. He's the son of Jonathan. Your former friend mara his lay he stays in loreba the place of hopelessness this boy he's lame he's crippled and he's rejected oh hola in that place as i did the covenant a papa hey jonathan little fita by yenteng many years ago a involving yen that means haiti or mwale moteng una le madi at the lineage of priesthood there's a wealth there's a will in royalty and it's all a little long moyon but at this moment una in a place of loreba a place with no hope a place with no pasture a place is now the future so get me the battle about that david me fibo se fote nde no bararo ke mola ding le motli sengwano remember o kholo fetse tlo mola thekeng go ya go fatsi that means ba tlile ba mokukile setse le monna beno a tsa tlhole le ngwana ba tla ba molatlela mo maotong a dafita o ngotse tse botlhoko o ra dafita morare because in the olden days ha khosi anya go bona you already know you have done something wrong you are going to be killed now how could ami mo pela dafita o ra dafita morare eh what have i done my king Happen like it's one of the is a thing is really whether you kill me or you don't kill me there's no difference in my life then the fitora me was no 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 no. do not bow down before raise up your head how raise us for so high umra are your father jonathan he was my friend we made a covenant now i'm going to take care of but we will say baba sitting how mwaga chokofala so this is the good day for you scan and it's a bad day from this day on what me feel was that you are going to eat all your meals at the same table modi jamote the seventh day in target on the seventh to how kilo go fa a farm mo ile go rutlo na le ba diredi ba ba limelang wena wena you are no more going to suffer anymore imagine in the morning o tsogile a rubala mo mosemeng a sa khono lo tsamaya a sna le wulche mara in the evening me fibo says he's sitting at the king's table o ja the same meal o jwang the khosi ha yo rubala o rubala in a king says bed mara in the morning o tsile ga Momosemi, can you bring me? Eh, and this day, Tafulanya ni yana yelo bantu nsamze. Eh, kapile yana yefedis. Wana lin, tablecloth, orete, dijalizo gra li kupeza kato na lirle zina yepifu. Oga nanga di mayo. Tafesa yana kapi. Thank you. Nagoro tebato bata na giri pifu. Tebele, tebele, tebele. Look at me. Look at me. This is Mephibosheth. He's lame. Mara, rentable with him, Tafole. The premier, the president, the Bamo, Tafole. As never see a picture by the Bamo newspaper front page. Does it say Tabo Mohatlane owning Ali lame? Nanza Motafuli. No, they don't know what I'm lame. Because Tafula e Kavaran Hosi, Tafula Yasa Hosi, e Kavarile Lemakua Aka. 
bo foko di baka bo khavari lwa ke ntse motafleng e wane le khosi so that means le ka nna la bala bala mara har le mo tafuleng ya se khosi we are all the same in this table har tswela bo ntle it's fine nga nka tsa maga mauto mara ha ke ntse motafuleng ya se khosi man i don't care who is my name i don't care who's my relative i don't care le ntse bi la re ye man ha ke ntse motafuleng ya se khosi ra tswana le all the premiers and the kings that are sitting on the table in the morning o tswile mo mo semeng asna le mpeto asna le nengi asna le mo wheelchair o tsamaya mara in the evening o tswile the meal at the king's table o robet on the king's side bed that evening that doesn't mean the way you wake up is the way you are going to sleep at night so me fi bo se tantse mo tafoleng ra tswana e le ka nala ntlo ya mara mo tafoleng ya se go se ra tswana le kana la bua skanda le kana mara mota fuleng ya se go sira tswana le kana la reject ke re ra thero bana o tshwenye mota fuleng ya se go se ra tswana ma ba kana ba botsa ho many women you have divorced mara mota fuleng ya se go sira tswana ra tswana they might tell me ke ruile ma mara e ke mara mota fuleng ya se go sira tswana I may not give funny guys funny so the president Mandela o tshwenye mara mo tafuleng ya se go se ra tshwana ra tshwana ne ke le mang ke le nje e shwile we are the same in this team my message to you as long as there's still 5% chance do not give up do not give up Mephibosheth was crippled he was lame it's true that he grew up in a hopeless place rejected and forgotten but guess what har cheka pals ya had beat he's still alive that means there's 5% chance of survival as long as my heart is beating there's 5% chance of survival so today we do the motor flying as a horse o tshwana le bo botlhe ba ba leng de No matter how hard it can be don't throw in the towel no matter how impossible things can look in your life don't you dare give up your dreams don't give up on your marriage don't give up on your wife don't give up on your husband don't give up on your children bale le mo business and don't give up on your business ideas bale studies and don't give up on your dream you will graduate one day bantse le struggle go conceive le nne le bana don't give up on that baby some day we don't say how tsona le sara because mudimo has remembered you so i don't know about you but my god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that i ask or think but he needs the 5% to work in me so that i can be like him come on look at your neighbor tell them i need you neighbor tell them again said them you need me also come on tell somebody stand with me mulele i agree with me mulele you are important to me come on tell them i need you to survive I want us to make this confession if you can stand on your feet let's make this confession because sometimes there will lament to abola and the 5% on the inside of you not realize your mudimo all that you need is that 5% of hope in order to recover the 95% say with me father in the name of jesus i thank you my father that i am a new creation in christ jesus i will speak of the excellent things and the opening of my lips shall be the right thing my mouth shall speak the truth i will not speak evil against anyone all the words of my mouth are in righteousness my lips shall feed many people because i'm the righteousness of god in christ jesus my tongue brings forth wisdom because i am the righteous my lips knows what is acceptable and my lips shall establish the truth forever i am a delight 
unto my Lord for I am an imitator of Jesus my lips shall protect me and my mouth is a well of life wisdom is found in my lips because I have understanding I have a wholesome tongue and it is a tree of life the pleasant words they are always in my mouth my words are sweet to my soul and they are health to my bones my words are as deep as the water and the wellspring of wisdom my God has given me wisdom and out of my mouth comes knowledge and understanding death and life are in the power of my tongue and I choose life I will not let any corrupt communication proceeds out of my mouth my thoughts are right because I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus I think on the things that are true that are honest that are just that are pure that are lovely that are of a good report I've been transformed by the renewal of my mind with the word of God I have the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God I decree I declare my life will never and never and never be the same again in Jesus name father I pray that by the confession of our mouth I revive the five percent of hope wherever somebody is losing their hope as long as there's five percent of hope on the inside of them my purpose is to revive it because you can't do anything exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think without using that five percent of hope on the inside just like that woman in the chapel forget about the 95 percent focus on the five percent may the lord keep you May the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and give you the peace of God. May the Lord lift up his countenances on you and give you the unmerited favor of the Lord. Father, I place your name upon their foreheads to guarantee them victory, open doors and success in everything that their hands finds to do throughout this week the grace of our lord jesus the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with each and every one of us until we see jesus face to face in the only name that makes sense the name of jesus thank you lord and somebody say amen, amen.